So it started with two women who had heard about some beagles who were crying and calling out for metal sheds for help. Babies who were separated from their mums that were confused and upset. But what they didn't know was that the worst for them was still yet to come. That by the time they were about three months old, they would be put in metal travel containers and transported to laboratories to be brutally and unnecessarily tested on multiple times every day until either their little bodies gave up or they were eventually killed when their organs were of no more use to the lab techs. And then, even in death, their bodies did not have any dignity. They would be dissected and then dumped in yellow plastic bin bags and thrown into waste skips to be taken away and disposed of. No love, no care and no thought given to that little life that has been used and abused for absolutely no reason or point at all. And so a promise was made to them to not stop until they are freed. And so began the campaign to end NBR Acres and all of those associated with them. But just being there outside the gates is not enough. Evidence is needed. Proof that this testing is illegal is needed. Evidence that animal testing is not effective and of no use whatsoever to the human population is needed. Proof that alternative non-animal methods exist and that they are more effective, more human relevant and more cost efficient is needed. And so the ball of strings started unravelling as the deeper the CBUK researchers delved into the diabolical world of animal testing and got to the actual realisation of how huge, underground and secret it all is. From domestic animals like dogs, cats, rabbits, mice, gerbils, horses, all the way through to monkeys being caught in the wild from Mauritius and brought over here. Can you imagine how terrifying that must be, even before the lab tax get their hands on them, one minute in a tree, living life to the fullest, and the next caught up, put in a crate, flown over here, and then the last bit of their existence is being tortured and living it out in a metal cage, seeing your family and friends in the next cages, but unable to gain any comfort from each other. Think about the nature programmes you've watched about monkeys. They are socially orientated animals who live in extended family groups, grooming each other in touch is their way of reaffirming that relationship and giving comfort to each other. And now they know nothing except only torturous pain until the blessed release of death. And now we also find out that there are even zoos in the UK participating in this with the animals that are in their care under the guise of science and research, even with testing on elephants. What a lot of people don't know or realise is that none of these animals are covered under any animal welfare bills or acts as they fall into a different remit, which means that they have no rights. They can be bred as many times as they produce sufficiently suitable offspring. They can be tested on as many times a day or night as the lab techs deem necessary or until their veins break down, unable to take any more needles, or their throats are so inflamed from the tubes being forced down them that they have closed up. So these animals are then no longer acceptable as testing subjects or when their little bodies have simply given up and they've died or for the ones that somehow managed to survive all of this, it doesn't end there. They can then be bled over and over and over and over again until they eventually give up as well. The only way that this will end is by proving to our government that testing on animals is outdated, not cost efficient, not effective in finding treatments or cures and that only by investing in NAMs, non-animal methods, like for example an organ or a chip, will any effective results be found for the ailments that the scientists are hoping to treat or cure. This needs to be presented to government so that the legal changes that need to be made are then made, that the money people behind this unnecessary abuse move the funds to the correct and effective channels to continue efficient research into human relevant sciences, to find the treatments and cures for human conditions and diseases, as it has been proven time and time again that experiments that have succeeded on animals have not translated over to human trials, because we are not alike to animals. Each species of animal is different, and there are even biological differences between us and the great apes, our so-called closest relatives on this planet, which means that tests on them that could produce effective results would still not translate over to humans, but yet millions and millions of pounds are poured into this ineffective animal testing year after year after year. This needs to stop. Animal testing needs to stop. Effective science research needs to be evolved into non-animal methods if treatments or cures are ever to be found. So please join us in our campaign to end this for all animals everywhere and also for humankind because until there is a scientific push to move away from non-effective animal testing then there will be no progress in the treatment and cure of human diseases. 
You don't have to go to MBR Acres to stand outside with a placard. You can get stickers for your car, your windows, or wherever else you think about putting them. You can leaflet your area. You can arrange a coffee morning with our leaflets and posters out around your home to have a discussion with your friends. You can buy a t-shirt and wear it out shopping. It's amazing how many times people will ask you what it's all about when you're wearing one. You can arrange to do an outreach in your area, or if you're not keen on doing it yourself, then keep an eye on our events page and join in with one that's already going to happen. Arrange a dog walk with your friends and their families. You can give out leaflets to the people who come along. Come along to any of our national demos. Our next one is outside the Home Office on September the 8th to protest against them reissuing the bleeding licence to MBR. Email your MP. Make an appointment to see your MP and ask them where they stand on animal testing and what will they be supporting and why. And also don't forget to share our CBUK pages or posts on your own social media as this is how word gets out, spreads and then public outcry happens. And that is strong and the government can't keep ignoring the public. So it started with the beagles of MBR, but it will stop with ending all animal testing as there is no excuse for animal abuse.